Amanda Robles and I am proud to be Cuban. Cuba, for those of you who don't know, is an island in the Caribbean near the coast of the Florida Keys. Cuba, like many of its Caribbean neighbors, shares a rich culture that I am excited to share with you all. But before I go off and share a little of my culture, I want to share what role I have here in Wayne. I am a proud 7th grade teacher at Lynnhurst 7th and 8th grade center and I teach Title I language arts on Team Ignite. My education background takes us to Miami, Florida, where I graduated with a Bachelor's of Arts in English. My husband and I decided to move to Indiana last year, and I was lucky enough to learn about Wayne Township from amazing people who only speak of the township's highest nature. Now, to talk a little bit about Cuba and some of the details about its culture, I want to preface this by saying that I was born on the island and I moved to Miami, Florida when I was two years old. While I do not remember my infancy in Cuba, my parents and I made yearly trips back to the island that I hold so close to my heart. My parents made sure to instill the Cuban roots in me, which is why I didn't speak any English until the age of eight or nine. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, oh my God, Cuba, how cool, I know. Cuba is best known for its rich culture of songs and dance. A specific person that was a pioneer in the Cuban music industry was Celia Cruz. She was a distinctive and phenomenal singer from Cuba that was discovered on the island back in the 1950s. And eventually she brought her talents to America where she was established as la reina de la musica de salsa or the queen of salsa music. Her songs include La Vida es un Carnaval, La, la Negra Tiene Tumbao y Yo Viviré. I'm so glad that I was able to share a small part of my culture with you and I hope that you learn about many more other countries and cultures this Hispanic Heritage Month.